Hello all. My name is Hedy. I'm CEO and co-founder of Cache. We are building an ecosystem of service to enable platform economy lifestyle. And we do that by building flexible and very personalized insurance and other financial services. Before I go into more details, uh, my experience says that probably only around one third, maximum, of people know what platform economy and who is a platform worker. So, platform worker is a person that earns their income via getting tasks or keys from digital platform or shares their assets um, in order to earn income uh, well, the same way. So this is uh, whom we have taken in as a target. Uh, so, Caché was founded by me and my co-founder Kalle Belling uh, 2018. 2018 is actually a very important year when it comes to uh, platform economy and future of work. Because during that year, GDPR was actually enforced. Also, there was a very important regulation for companies like Uber or Bolt or others. It was called Info Society Services Act. And that was, uh, that was first uh, brought out also in Estonia, but uh, now multiple countries in the EU are using it. And the third really important uh, fun, uh, kind of foundation was that actually Bitcoin peaked the first time. So why is this one important? It's, it was the kind of first larger service on decentralized um, uh, uh, kind of ledger, which is uh, going to be the very, very important in the future of, of different services, uh, financial services. So when we started our startup, we didn't have any money, uh, but we wanted to work with the best people out there. So what we did, we found who is the best in legal, who is the best in finance and everything. So we went around and asked for people, can you help us a bit? And what we found out, A, everybody had their own small entity, and B, everybody were willing to do extra hours. So we understood that no one is unreachable. So what we realized from that was that actually they were all gig workers. So we started from... Uh, uh, building uh, very good and flexible insurance solutions for ride hailers. So Uber drivers, uh, Bolt drivers that, that work very, very differently than often the regular taxi drivers. And soon we understood what, with, with that experience that we actually are not going to only build our solution and insurance for them, but we're going to build the insurance for the future workers. So literally we could say Uber drivers are building the way for the future of work. So let's, let's take it into a numbers. Today, or actually last year, there was 28 million people that earned their income via platforms, according to the European Commission. And th this was one in 10 person, work age person. In already a few years' time, it's predicted to be one in five. So what is driving them quite a fast growth is actually four things. There is a massive generation shift uh, happening in the workforce. In 2025, 75% of the people will be uh, millennial generation and younger who is in, act in active workforce. There is a, well, we all experience COVID and, and the work from home. People love it, but I'm, I'm ex-banker, so I understood quite quickly how large corporations are thinking. They find it as a good way to actually build additional efficiency into their workforce. And today this is happening. So there, in the boardrooms, there is a lot of discussions if um, now the more uh, flexible workers should be handled by HR or actually procurement, because lots and lots of the corporations are pushing their kind of is it field work or other into more flexible means of uh, employment. The third is, is obviously UN sustainability goals, which are the drivers for the sharing economy. Every city in the world has a goal to reduce the carbon footprint. So to sharing assets, bringing in micromobility, and so on and forth. And as, as I earlier mentioned with the, with the Bitcoin, the overall massive shift that's going to happen in our web infrastructure. So in some years' time, we will all experience much more personalized and much, much different uh, experience in the web and, and, and via that providing services. But the industry is today at the crossroads. 
because this way of working is not really sustainable because the majority about different benefits like insurance or, or financial services like financing or home loans and then many others. So why is that? One of the core problems is that platform workers are not loyal. They uh, choose the way of working because that allows them to work whenever they want, wherever they want, how long they want, and to whoever they want. So which means that if we take, let's say, example, uh, ride-hailing drivers, if, if they start to work, they work for Uber, for Bolt, for Ola, for free now, depends on who is active in the market, to maximize their income from this certain hour. And this means that the data is completely scattered and it's super hard for, fin uh, for financial banks and insurance companies to understand the risks and how the, really the profile comes together. And this has caused that they have to pay for lots of services Well, actually they're not using them. But I wouldn't be standing on the slush uh, uh, stage if you wouldn't have a solution. So uh, what we have built at Cache is that we we have provided different technology to enable bringing the data together to one place around a person. So we have connected with multiple different platforms, built multiple different technologies to get in the data that is today missing from the insurance companies or from banks or others. And by that we are providing it, uh, the kind of service is much more flexible and much more personalized. So let's dig a bit deeper. So how are we doing it? So we are, we are selling both to the, directly to the end customer, which could be then an Uber driver or a delivery courier or, or many others. But, and we are also selling directly to different platforms, depends on area, like let's say a platform that, uh, um, like Fresca in Finland, who they are not our customer, but, but uh, alike. So who bring together, let's say, cleaners or gardeners or um, car washers, you name it, there are multiple. And uh, we have built different technologies, which are, which are completely unique to, for example, in, in case of uh, uh, mobility, we are helping to do either parking or booking or many other things to, to get the data that is missing or aggregate the data from many, many platforms. In case of, let's say, couriers, one of the core problems there is, is that uh, if, if a person works for Volt, they, they are, let's say, insured by Volt, but at the same time, they do some other tasks, uh, keys also for, uh, for Bolt or Deliveroo. So the insurance often overlaps. So one company has to pay for someone else's uh, deliveries, let's say. And this is some of the problem that is easy to cause with actually uh, building a kind of platform in between, like Cache, who, who brings the data together around the person, which is why I'm talking a lot about the decentralized world. And via that, everybody actually wins. Plus, if you talk about um, uh, cleaning jobs and many others, uh, what is the core problem today is like, to make sure that, okay, when one task started and when one task ended. And this allows us to, for example, provide insurance that we don't have to give a platform based on the number of people they have signed up. So young startup, like let's say platform who, who builds a product for like, the cleaners, uh, onboards 1,000 cleaning ladies and guys, but let's say out of those, only 300 are working. And this is the problem. The, the insurance company often requires them to insure them all. But what we are helping them to do is to insure only the tasks and lots. So many different uh, ways to do that. But what I want to have you kind of uh, remembered about Cache is that we are finding different technologies and different kind of data streams to make it flexible. So uh, today we are live in uh, three markets where we sell directly and basically all Europe where we sell indirectly. And we have uh, many customers and many platforms who are, are super happy with our services. So our CSAT is continuously from the day of launch being around uh, 85 to, to 90%. And NPS is, I don't know how many of you know about insurance NPS, but NPS has been, is one of the highest. So I'm very happy to uh, summarize to say platform economy is, is here to stay. It's going to be the future. There's very many people already working this way. The, the goal of uh, future work will be uh, uh, to kind of allow people to work in multiple places and have more flexibility. And we need to not build services that take us back to the kind of old century, but build services that take us to the future. And this is what we do at Cache. So 
Thank you very much.